And now today's arrest report brought to you by Trenner Bail Bonding. Locked up, need to get out, don't hesitate, don't procrastinate. Call Jeff or Jimmy at 334-864-5559. That's Trenner Bail Bonding, because ain't nobody got time to stay locked up. Now serving Lee County as well as Chambers County. From Chambers County, currently 164 inmates incarcerated in the Chambers County Jail. Overnight, Chambers County Sheriff deputies arrested the following. Marcus Johns, 28, from Opelika. Grand jury indictment. Theft of property in the first, as well as a probation violation. Jaquan Powell, 29, from Buffett. Failure to pay criminal mischief in the second. Jeanette Duffy, 45, from Roanoke. FTA. Failure to stop at a railroad crossing and an FTA for failure to register a vehicle. From Lynette, last night Lynette police arrested Donald Lewis Spence, 53, from Lafette, FTA traffic. From Valley, last night Valley police arrested Philip Wayne Whaley, 30, from Valley, bell jumping in the second. Valley police also reports that according to Major Mike Reynolds, on March the 15th at approximately 8.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, officers of the Valley Police Department responded to a robbery call at the Family Dollar on Highway 29 in Fairfax. Upon arrival, officers met with the store clerk. The clerk stated that the suspect entered the store with a semi-automatic pistol and told customers to get out. He then demanded money from the clerk. After the clerk told him that she couldn't open the safe, the suspect left the store. The suspect is described as a black male, approximately six foot tall, wearing khaki pants, a black hoodie, and a dust mask. The suspect was last seen getting into a small gray car and left in an unknown direction. If you have any information concerning this case, you're asked to call the Valley Police Department at 334 756 5200 or Valley Area Crime Stoppers at 334 756 8200. And now, funeral announcements brought to you by Johnson Brown Funeral Home, providing dignified service since 1900. Johnson Brown announces the passing of Mrs. Betty Johnson Bowers, 93, who passed away on Wednesday, March the 7th, after a brief illness. She was preceded in death by her late husband of over 50 years, Otis Bootsy Bowers, as well as her cherished daughter, Patsy Bowers Pilkington. Mrs. Bowers was born April the 2nd, 1924, in Paris, Alabama, to the late Minnie Kilgore Johnson and R.T. Johnson, and attended the University of Alabama. Mrs. Bowers was a lifelong member of the First United Methodist Church of Lynette, where she enjoyed preparing Sunday school lessons, attending potluck dinners and various game nights with her many friends at the church. Second only to her love for the church was her enjoyment of painting. She started taking art lessons in 1985 after retiring from West Point Pepperell and quickly fell in love with it. Betty's 30 plus years of painting led to more than 100 pieces of art including local landmarks, flowers, wildlife, and religious paintings. She spent the last few months of her life sharing her talent with her neighbors at Garden Green Apartments, teaching art lessons. Over the years, she also enjoyed playing bridge and expressing herself through poetry. She maintained an accomplished collection of poetry dating back to the early 1940s, often reflecting on the wonders of life as well as the joy of motherhood. As an artist, a Christian, and a poet, a devoted friend, Mrs. Betty, as everyone knew her, never met a stranger, and she will be deeply missed by her friends and family. She is survived by her granddaughters, Kelly Pilkington and Carolyn from Hickory Ridge, Arkansas, and Christy Pilkington White and Patrick, as well as two great-grandchildren, Addison and Grady White of Evergreen, Colorado. A memorial service honoring her memory will be held at the First United Methodist Church of Lynette on Saturday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. A service will immediately be followed by a reception at the church and a viewing of all of her paintings in the Fellowship Hall. And that's today's funeral announcements brought to you by Johnson Brown Funeral Home, providing dignified service since 1900.